Sometimes you gotta hum on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what? Who can I run to when all my people going through the same? What? Supposed to do about this pain? Who can I run to when most of my homies started moving strange? Telling women all your business plain. Who can I run to? What it do, YouTube? It's your boy Just Anderson. I'm back with another upload. In today's upload, we'll be discussing the DB ones from Nike. Like every performance that's works up with the traction. The traction on the DB1 is the herringbone traction, which is the most beautiful thing ever. Like, Nike did their big one. Oh my God, they really did. My experience with the DB1's Encore was amazing. On most courts that they grip the floor really well, I would give them a 9.5 out of 10. Like the traction is really that good. I wasn't expecting this shoe to like have great traction out the box. But then once I saw the herringbone and I stepped on the first court, which I think was, if you're from Queens or New York in general, I think I think it was Forest Hills. And the way they gripped the floor was amazing, bro. Like this is definitely a top tier shoe or a top 10 shoe of the year so far. And I would also say that the traction rivals Kyrie. Like it, it might just rival some Kyrie traction, bro. Like I was stopping at Dom. I was doing whatever I needed to do. Definitely one of the best tractions I've ever played with on a hoop shoe. Nike, y'all really did y'all thing with this one. I can't even lie. Next on the DB1s, we're talking about the cushion. The cushion that can be found on the DB1s is a cushion with a zoom air unit in the heel. My experience with the cushion was actually really good. As y'all know so far, in most of my videos that have had shoes where they're good straight out the box, I love those kind of sneakers. I hate sneakers where it's kind of like... I gotta break it down and my foot gotta get accustomed to the shoe. I hate it because you know those foot pains be annoying. But on this pair, the cushion was great straight out the box and gets better as you hoop in the more. Like I will say, like when I do a rotations video, this shoe is definitely gonna be my top five. If you're a guard, I would heavily suggest you get yourself a pair of DB1s. Like, no question, bro. These these are fire. Even though Kushlon is not like you know premium or like the best, it's not uncomfortable. And the heel air zoom unit does what it has to do. At the end of the day, it's like putting two simple things together and getting a masterclass product at the end of it. Next on the DB1s, we're gonna talk about the materials. On my pair of the DB1s, which is the Haven Editions, I feel like those are like the best color that's come out so far. But that's just me. Other people can feel some type of way. But besides that, it's a mixture of Sway and Nubuck. And boy, let me tell you something, these feel good. Do y'all remember when the DB1s first came out? And people saw the pictures and was clowning these shoes like, ew, these are like lifestyle shoes. Like, they're probably not even going to fit well or not going to be comfortable. Boy, the materials, when they're locked in with your feet, bro, it don't even feel like you're wearing feet for real, bro. Like, it don't even feel like you're really, really wearing hoop shoes. Like, that's how good the material is once you get them on and going. I played in this shoe a lot, so I definitely could tell y'all, like, if y'all keep playing in these, boy, you're not going to play nothing else. You're gonna look through all your feet and be like, I need the Devin Booker. Like, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I would heavily suggest y'all purchase these feet if you can. Don't do the resellers, bro. They're gassing it, but definitely get yourself a pair. But besides that, I would definitely give the, the uh, materials a 10 out of 10. That's how good they are. Like, no joke. Next on the DB1s, we're talking about the fit. Fit on the DB1s is very snug fit. However, it's not too unbearable. Actually, it's not unbearable at all. Like your foot's not gonna jam up. Just get your true size and you should be fine. I would also say don't wear elite socks. Wear like regular standard socks. So like some sporting good socks. Nothing too thick. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Standardized Nike socks and you'll be good to go. There's no heel slippage, which is major, you know. I feel like a lot of people underrate heel slippage. Because like when you're trying like your jab steps and you're trying to come off the dribble, like heel slippage can really get annoying and kind of throw off your momentum sometimes if you really think about it. But no heel slippage to really think of or even know of. I never had no heel slip heel slippage. Um, the laces really keep you locked in and tight around the shoe. You actually feel really comfortable. You're not feeling like it's choking your ankles, which is another great part. So I would definitely give the fit a 10 out of 10. So my personal thoughts on the DB ones is definitely best shoe well one of the best shoes that nikes has put out as like a first signature shoe like if this is what's to come of devin booker's signature line they should just keep going with it i really do feel like 
they should just do what they did with this one and just keep adding great things to it. Like, don't change it too much because what they got here is amazing. And it's like, from people I've spoken to, no matter like the different colorways or nothing, like everything still feels amazing. Like the traction, the cushion, the materials, like all that. So I would say definitely get a pair. These are definitely like in my top five when I do that rotation video, cause I've seen y'all comments saying y'all want to know like what shoes been in my, my rotation. These are definitely gonna be in there. I'm letting y'all know that right now. Besides that, do me a favor, please, for me, like, comment, subscribe. You know, push the notify bell to know when I upload. And hey, man, like I always tell you, I appreciate the love and support y'all been giving me. Let's just make this family bigger. Let's, you know, get my channel out there so, you know, your, your boy can, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> On the real, though, like, you know, help a brother out. I really appreciate y'all. Besides that, it's your boy, Just Anderson. Peace, love. See you on the next one.